This story begins with the lovely and beautiful but seemingly lonely Alice. Living the ordinary life of a schoolgirl, the girl suddenly finds herself in the world of beast people. She is held in his arms by Mark, who already considers her his female, because he liked her at first sight. However, Alice had already met other beast people, and her experience was terrible. Therefore, to protect herself, Alice used special techniques that helped her stop the hungry men. The heroine did not want to obey someone and kneel in front of someone, so she always fiercely defended herself. During self-defense, she was so cute that her latest technique was given the name Ghost Cat Claws. But Mark was like everyone else. He sincerely defended and saved his female. And he always treated the girl like a goddess, showing love and care. Is Mark really the same man about whom legends go? Wonderful, loving, and caring? In the world of beastmen, females are rare. So many wanted to get them and mark them. Therefore, when they saw the female, they immediately rushed to her in order to take possession of her, since free females are very rare in this world. Alice didn't like the men's impudence. She tried to get out of the grip, but the males lost their heads at the sight of the female. They could no longer be stopped. They wanted to take possession of her as quickly as possible. The main character was not so weak. She knew about the enemy's weak points, so she struck. Having freed herself, she immediately began to run away from the wild males and try to escape. A group of males did not let the girl go, so they turned into wolves and rushed in pursuit. Alice understood that she would not be able to run away from the wolves for long. She did not know what to do. Continuing to run, she found herself on the edge of a cliff. There was no further road. The girl did not know what to do. The girl stumbled and fell, panic taking over her mind, and the wolves were already right in front of her. The wolves were already looking forward to the night because the girl had no choice. But having gotten to her feet, Alice did not want to give up. She belongs only to herself. And in order not to get caught by the arrogant males, the heroine threw herself off the cliff. A month before, Alice was an ordinary high school student. She already knew where she would go, so she didn't worry about anything. Alice was lonely. She had no friends, although she was the best student. Entering the classroom, many were afraid to start a dialogue with her. Everyone was busy preparing for exams. The heroine was not worried about the fact that she had no one. Her pride did not allow her to think about such things. Suddenly, one school day, a ball flew into her head, after which the girl lost consciousness. After this incident, she found herself in the world of beast people, not understanding how she got into it. Everyone around was shocked by such a sudden appearance of the girl, because it was all so unexpected and spontaneous. Alice tried many times to return to her world, but it did not work out for her. Therefore, when she heard that a priest who knew how to communicate with the gods would come today, Alice decided that luck had smiled on her. At this time, Mark, standing in the pond, heard strange sounds. He was wondering what the source of the sound was. He realized that someone had jumped off the cliff, so he immediately decided to save the drowning man. In his arms, Mark held a weakened girl who had attracted him so much. He was embarrassed by the beauty of the girl. Until that moment, Mark had not seen such beauties. When she woke up, the girl saw a stranger in front of her. She had not yet fully regained consciousness. The man in front of her was so handsome that she didn't even think about reality. It all seemed like a dream to her. Mark almost immediately noticed that the female had woken up and immediately turned to her. Alice was surprised that all this was reality, so she pushed the stranger away. The young male was worried, so he immediately began to approach the young lady. Approaching the girl, Mark began to question her. He was interested in what tribe she was from. The heroine was stunned by the stranger's behavior, but was ready to answer all the male's questions. Looking lower, Alice was very surprised by the man's physique. Suddenly, the young male took the girl by the waist and pressed her to him as close as possible. Alice was confused by this behavior. She did not understand what the stranger wanted to do. Holding the heroine close to him, Mark began to sniff the scent of the female. Sensing that she had no scent of other males on her, he decided that he would make her his. Once he made his decision, Mark announced that Alice was now his female. Alice was very surprised. She did not want to become someone else's. She wanted to be free and calmly return to her world. Therefore, to put the impudent male in his place, she hit him with her forehead. 
But this was not the best decision, because the male's forehead turned out to be harder than stone. Mark was sensitive and caring, so he immediately approached the female to comfort her. Alice stood right in front of him, continuing to touch her forehead and relieve the pain. The male hugged Alice. He realized that the female was very weak. He wanted to protect her and protect her. The heroine continued to resist, saying that the guy from her settlement was somewhere nearby. Mark was not frightened by this behavior of the female. He picked her up and continued to look at her. Looking straight into Alice's eyes, Mark said his name and said that he was now her male. Holding the female in his arms, Mark headed towards the lake. His fellow tribesmen were waiting there. Alice was not happy with such impudent behavior, and she also felt uncomfortable sitting in Mark's arms. Mark lowered the girl to the ground and asked a question. He was interested in which clan the female was from, but Alice was furious at such a question. She believed that it was none of his business. Seeing the female become furious, Mark could not resist and kissed the girl to calm her down. Alice was completely confused and lost. Her thoughts were only about the kiss. The kiss also had another meaning. Before meeting other males, Mark was obliged to leave his scent on his female. The male's actions were sharp and arrogant. Alice could not restrain herself. All this outraged her. Therefore, to put the guy in his place, she hit him in the face, bringing him to his senses. Mark was stunned by the sharp blow. He stopped and realized that his female was not so simple. Alice was scared. She thought that after this, the male would hit her. But the male only wanted to calm the girl down. So he approached her and began to look her straight in the eyes. The heroine did not think that the male wanted to calm her down. She was already preparing for the worst. So in self-defense, she threw dirt in his face. While the male's face was covered in dirt, this was a great chance to escape from him, which is what the heroine did. Alice was sincerely glad that she managed to escape from the impudent male. Having wiped his face, Mark was not going to let his female go so easily and was serious. Alice had been running for quite a long time and was already exhausted. She stopped to catch her breath and leaned against a tree. But then male wolves, who had previously wanted to make her theirs, were already waiting for her. Running out of the bushes, they immediately surrounded the female so that she could not escape. The heroine did not expect that the wolves were still hunting for her. She did not understand why they could not leave her alone. The girl really had nowhere to run, but she knew that the male had left his scent on her. Therefore, she immediately began to spread her scent. The wolves smelled the scent of another male. Having smelled the smell, they immediately thought and retreated because the aroma was very strong. Alice quickly realized that the wolves were scared, so she began to show off her strong male. The wolves already experienced a feeling of fear. They understood that they needed to run away, but they could not move. Alice was glad that her plan worked. She managed to intimidate the offenders, and now she was confident in herself. Behind her, there was already a formidable lion, her male, who was ready to tear the wolves to pieces. The heroine talked about how the wolves mocked her, which made the lion furious. Alice also said that it was because of them that she decided to jump off the cliff. These words made the lion feel a sense of rage. He could not restrain his feelings and attacked the offenders. The wolves could not compete with the strong lion and got what they deserved because they were smaller and weaker than the lion. The lion roared throughout the area and the defeated wolves lay unconscious on the ground. From such a menacing roar, Alice was also frightened. It seemed to her that the lion would eat her. The girl fainted from fear, which surprised the lion. She thought that in this way she could drive the predator away from her. The male was worried. He was worried about the condition of the female, but Alice only pretended so that the lion would leave her alone and not eat her. Then, in order to frighten the female less, Mark turned into a man because he thought that it was his appearance as an animal that frightened her so much. Already being in the male's hand, Alice was thinking, she understood that she would be captured again and she would not have a chance to escape. So she made a spontaneous decision and poked the male in the nose, thinking that this would distract the guy. Mark didn't react in any way to the girl's actions. He only thought about her well-being. Suddenly, an eagle appeared in the sky and wanted to grab the girl and save her from the clutches of the lion. The eagle did not fly alone. There was a whole flock of them. They asked to let the heroine go. Mark dodged the eagle's sudden attack. It was clear that he was not afraid of them. 
Having assumed human form, the eagles continued to ask for the girl to be returned to them. Alice heard familiar voices and realized that they had come for her, which she was very happy about. The men continued to dialogue and argue about who owned the female, while Alice waited for the right moment to escape. Mark defiantly kissed the heroine's forehead, showing everyone that she was now his female. Looking at the eagle, he showed with all his appearance that the bird had nothing to do here. The eagle was unhappy with this behavior because the female was from his tribe. At that moment, Alice stopped all their arguments, pushing away the impudent lion. The heroine immediately ran to her fellow tribesmen because she was already confident in them and understood that they would protect her. The eagle protected the girl because in their tribe, the females choose their own male. Mark was furious. He didn't like the fact that his female was taken by a stranger. He ordered the girl to be returned to him. The males continued to argue. It seemed that a fight could not be avoided. They were serious. All this was interrupted by the sudden appearance of the lion's fellow tribesmen. It was clear that something terrible had happened. Mark immediately noticed that something was wrong with Ethan, but he couldn't figure out what it was. Approaching Ethan, Mark began to check his breathing. It was clear that his brother could no longer be helped. Leo was upset. Bowing his head, he ordered the body to be prepared for sacrifice. But Alice stopped them because she knew that Ethan could be in suspended animation. The lioness guarded her fellow tribesmen and did not want to let the unfamiliar heroine get closer. Mark protected his female and believed in her, so he decided to help because he wanted to support her. Turning Ethan over and placing him on her knee, the heroine began tapping his back. Mark had never seen such a method, which was very surprising. Was the female a healer? Alice continued to tap Ethan's back and believed that everything would work out to save the guy. Ethan did not come to his senses. It seemed that all attempts to save were in vain, and it was already useless to try. Mark no longer believed that it would be possible to save his brother, because there was no improvement visible. The heroine did not lose hope. She continued to believe in herself, and that Ethan could still be saved. Like here, all the water in his lungs came out of the young guy's mouth. He began to breathe and return to life. Everything worked out. Those around were incredibly happy. Attempts to save Ethan were successful, and Alice exhaled. The lion immediately took the female by the hands and began to say in surprise that Alice was a healer. The heroine did not understand what Mark was talking about, because for her it was quite natural. The priest of the tribe approached Alice and thanked her for saving his fellow tribesmen. The old man was so grateful that he invited Alice to live with their tribe. Alice was surprised by the elder's proposal, but she knew that in large tribes, more information about the world could be obtained. Mark looked at the girl and did not look away. He naturally wanted the female to live with him, but he decided to leave the decision up to her. The flock of eagles also understood that in a large tribe, the girl had more opportunities. Approaching the heroine, Luke, the head of the eagle tribe, patted the girl on the head and said that he would support and understand any of her choices. Alice was worried because the tribe of eagles had become her family. They were the first ones she met in this unfamiliar world. Mark was unhappy that his female was being touched by a strange man, so he immediately grabbed Luke's hand. The guys were at odds and continued to argue. They had different views on the world. Alice continued to calm them down and separate them as she considered their arguments childish. The heroine finally made a decision. She wanted to unite the tribes. Mark and Luke were surprised by this decision. The small tribe would become part of the big one. Everyone was stunned by the heroine's desire. The lion agreed with the female's decision. Now they can head home. When moving, Alice was not entirely comfortable. She was a little afraid and tried to hold on tighter. Mark felt that the girl was not comfortable when he was in the guise of a lion. So he turned into a man and hugged her, falling to the ground. They looked into each other's eyes and did not look away. One could say that they were a couple in love. Alice admitted that it was difficult not to fall in love with such a handsome man. He was caring and courteous. Mark seemed to read the heroine's thoughts. He understood that the female liked his appearance, which he was very happy about. The female immediately jumped up and stepped aside. Now she no longer wants to look Mark in the eye because she is embarrassed. Luke and Ethan were always watching the girl. Noticing her strange behavior, they immediately began to worry. Mark did not like the male's attention to his female. 
he blocked the path to her. The lion's younger brother, Ethan, was very arrogant and persistent, for which he received punishment from his elder. Alice was amused by such little squabbles between the brothers. She looked at them with a smile on her face. Noticing how happy the female was, Mark approached the girl and took her hand, saying that she was now under his protection. Finally, they arrived at the settlement of the Moonstone, to the tribe of lions, of which Mark was the leader. There were other females there, but one of them was the most beautiful, Angela. Alice was very surprised, because until that moment she had lived in a small tribe, and the lion tribe was considered one of the largest. The entire eagle tribe was surprised. They had never seen so many tents. At this time, the lion tribe had already met their fellow tribesmen, as well as the head of the tribe, Mark. Angela was really looking forward to the return of the head. She wanted to become his female, so she met Mark in full dress. Seeing the head, she immediately ran to Mark. Happy Angela was waiting for him, like the first snow. Alice immediately noticed the happy Angela. She was glad to see another girl, because before that, she had not seen other females in this world. The heroine greeted the female sweetly, but Angela did not react positively to the greeting. Angela didn't like that another female was standing next to her beloved Mark. It seems that Alice was drawn into a love triangle, which she was not happy about. The elder immediately put Angela in her place, because Alice came to their settlement as a doctor. Angela could not believe that such a girl could be a doctor, because she looked weak and worthless. Everyone in the settlement was surprised, because healers are very rare in this world. Alice did not consider herself a doctor. She simply provided first aid, which she learned in her world. Angela was annoyed that Alyssa was standing so close to Mark, so she yelled at her. Mark hugged Alice and told the entire settlement that this was now his female. Angela is upset. She wanted to become Mark's female and was preparing for the meeting. The male picked the girl up and sat him on his shoulders, showing everyone that this was his female. Mark also reported that the Eagle tribe was joining them and would now live in the Moonstone settlement. Everyone in the settlement was glad to have new tribesmen, and the Eagle tribe was warmly received. Only Angela did not like all this. She was not ready for a rival, because she considered herself the most beautiful in the settlement. To prevent the girl from doing anything wrong, Ethan, in the guise of a leopard, grabbed her by the dress. Angela was not happy about this. She continued to be indignant, but Ethan simply calmly took her away from the couple. Alice was glad that Ethan was so smart. She believed that people in this world were definitely talented. The heroine was suddenly picked up by Mark and placed on his shoulders again. Mark could not allow his female to walk on the ground because her skin was very delicate. Everyone in the Moonstone tribe was surprised. Before that, they had not seen how caring and gentle their leader could be. Alice was outraged by such impudent behavior of the male, so she asked him to talk in private. So Mark took her to his house to talk one-on-one -on -one and find out everything. The heroine immediately pushed him onto the bed and sat on top, so she showed that she dominated the lion. Sitting on Mark, the heroine was indignant, because the lion began to play his tricks again. But this did not frighten Mark. After kissing her hand, he suggested breaking the rule again. Earlier, Alice decided that in their relationship, there would be three rules that the male must follow. Mark immediately agreed, because for him the desires of a female are law, he wanted to do everything for his lady of his heart. Alice didn't want the lion to touch her without her permission. That was the first rule. And she also didn't want Mark to consider her his female. That was the second rule. And the third rule was not to force a girl to do something she doesn't want. Mark did not think long about the answer and immediately abandoned such rules. Alice was outraged because the lion said that he was ready to do anything for the sake of the female, and now he himself refuses the rules. The lion approached the girl as if he wanted to kiss her. They looked at each other. At this moment, Mark reminded Alice that he had already marked her and she belonged to him. The heroine remembered this moment and immediately became embarrassed. This kiss was unexpected for her. Mark explained that now he is responsible for the girl and his scent must remain on her so that other males cannot attack her. Alice was surprised by such care. She understood that there was logic in the male's words but she believed that she could fend for herself, and she did not need the protection of a male. Alice hoped that Mark would respect her choice, because she was not going to become someone else's just because she was marked. 
Mark was surprised that the girl did not want to be his female because he was used to the fact that many people wanted to be with him. Alice explained that she simply could not be with the first person she met, and first they needed to get to know each other better. The girl wanted to start a family out of love and not out of coercion. She wanted real and sincere feelings. The male understood the girl's desire and asked her to trust because his desire to do everything for the female was great. Currently, Alice, sitting on the male, blamed him for the fact that none of her rules were followed. But Mark explained that the situation required this and it was necessary to do this for the girl's safety. Alice understood that Mark was handsome and liked by many females in the settlement. Suddenly, someone turned to the leader and said that he needed to decide where to place the eagles. Mark invited Alice to choose a place for the eagles herself. The girl did not refuse and immediately agreed. When leaving, Alice decided that she wanted to live as far as possible from the lion so that he could not pester her. Leo liked such a rebellious girl. With every second, he wanted to conquer her more and more. Meanwhile, Ethan comforted Angela, who was furious at the news. Ethan tried to explain that he did all this for her benefit, because he already felt a feeling of love for her. But Angela refused to listen. She did not believe that Mark could exchange her for some unknown female. Leopard explained that his brother really loves Alice, and Angela should not harm the female lion. Angela did not believe these words, so she decided to prove and show everyone that Mark does not love Alice. So she turned around and went to Mark to find out everything in person. One of the tribesmen offered a good place. It was safe and fertile. Alice really liked this place. It fit all her criteria, but Mark was against it. Mark was against it, since there were a lot of males there who could start pestering his female. The man also talked about another place, south of the Moonstone Settlement. The place was even more favorable. Alice liked the second place even more, and Mark even less, because it was even further away. Mark wanted his male to live right in his settlement, so he said that the eagles should live closer to the lions. But the man explained that this was difficult to achieve, since there was little space in the settlement itself, only in the center. But the lion decided that this particular place was suitable for the eagle tribe. Mark continued to convince that this was the best place to get used to the settlement. In the end, Luke decided that Mark was right and agreed with him, because now they live under his leadership. The most important thing for Mark was that his female was happy, and she was all glowing with joy. Luke took Alice's hand and led her to the place. He wanted her to be the first to choose a home for herself. Mark stopped them. He could not allow another male to lead her by the hand. Alice didn't understand what was happening, but Mark convinced her that her house was on the other side. The heroine was confused by such strange actions of the guy. She did not understand what he wanted from her. Holding the girl by the hand, Mark led her to his home, saying that his house was her home. Angela was already waiting for them at the house, who wanted to meet Mark and talk to the newly arrived female. She was not ready to see Alice, so she began to be very indignant. But Alice acted very cunningly and shifted all responsibility onto the lion. Mark believed that there was nothing to talk about here because he himself brought Alice to his house. Angela continued to insist that females could not enter the head's house. She believed that only a wife could enter the head's house, and she didn't like all this because she herself wanted to become Mark's wife. Alice continued to say that she was not the wife of the head and that Mark had arranged all this, trying to justify himself to the female. Mark didn't care about Alice's opinion. He already considered her his wife and asked Angela to show respect to his female. Angela was upset. She didn't understand why he changed so much when he met Alice. They had been together since childhood. Angela thought that in the future they would become a family. Lev did not see anything special in this. He lived with others in the settlement and protected them, so he did not consider that he was obliged to marry Angela. He only liked Alice. He wanted her to become his wife. He asked Angela to understand him and let him go, because he had no feelings for her. Angela could not contain her feelings and ran away in tears. Alice became an involuntary observer of this picture. She felt sorry for the female, but she could not do anything about it. Holding Mark's hand, the heroine told him about his beauty. He was truly beautiful. The lion did not expect such words from the female, so he was very surprised and stunned. Running away in tears, Angela blamed Alice for everything because it was with her arrival that Mark changed so much. 
She wasn't looking where she was running, so she hit her head on someone's torso. It was Zeke, the strongest warrior of the settlement. Seeing the girl in such a state, he was interested in what happened. Angela was surprised that anyone in the settlement really cared about her condition. From an overabundance of feelings, the girl immediately performed the Zika ritual and began to complain about her life. Angela cried and continued to say that she was a nasty and useless female. Zeke was enraged by such words. He could not believe Angela's words. At this time, walking through the center of the settlement, Alice reasoned that such a handsome man had many fans. The heroine was lost in her thoughts so deeply that she did not notice the stone under her feet and tripped over it. Mark was nearby, so he immediately caught the girl when she started to fall. Their gazes crossed again. Mark was very caring, and it seemed that Alice was already fascinated by him. But she only quickly thanked him and moved away because she didn't want to show more. At this time, in the center of the settlement, something was happening. It was very noisy, so the heroes came closer. In the center of the crowd were Luke and Zeke, who were already fighting, although it looked more like a beating. Zeke was not happy with such weak newcomers. He was angry, so he continued to beat the weak Luke. Luke was not a warrior. He could not fight back the offender, and they did not come to the settlement for fights. Zeke continued to scream and demand that the eagles get out of their settlement. Luke was not going to succumb to the fighters' provocations. They came to the Moonstone settlement for the sake of peace and prosperity. Angela watched this and was happy, because in this way she wanted to make Alice leave. And now Zeke is about to deal a powerful blow to his opponent. Just like that, Alice intervened in their fight. She was angry that the settlement received the new arrivals this way. Zeke was surprised by the female's courage. It had never happened before that girls interfered in a fight between two males. Alice continued her speech because she believed that in the Moonstone settlement, everyone lived in peace and harmony. The inhabitants of the settlement came to their senses and came to their senses because they really were not as cruel as they seemed at that moment. The heroine could not believe that the residents allowed such an incident to happen in the very center of the settlement. Conscience forced the residents to come to their senses. They felt ashamed of their inaction. After all, today, Alice showed them how cruel and unfair they can be towards the weak. Everyone around felt ashamed. Now they did not consider themselves so good and correct. Kneeling down, the heroine began to help the victim and decided that they could not stay in the settlement after this. Mark was angry. He believed that he must punish those who disobeyed his order. Zeke immediately knelt down and began to justify himself to the leader, because for him, Mark was an example to follow. Leo also began to help the victim, and also announced that if someone is against his decision, he is ready to fight. No one could say a word against the leader, so everyone stood silently and listened to the leader. At this moment, Alice had already taken action and decided to challenge Zeke. She decided that if she won, Zeke would never lay a finger on her fellow tribesmen again. Zeke couldn't believe he was being challenged by a female. It all seemed like a joke. But Alice was confident in herself. She was cunning and smart enough to defeat the stupid male. Angela liked what was happening before her eyes more and more. She did not want to see it. She was sure that Mark would understand that his female was worthless, and she was not worthy to be with him. The head asked the female to leave this matter to him. He wanted to sort everything out himself. Mark began to kick the stupid male, driving him into a corner and putting him in his place to punish him for his offense. But Alice ran away from the male, saying that she would not lose and everything would be fine. The fight was scheduled for the next day. The winner will be the one who can get out of the forest first. But in the meantime, Mark was preparing everything. Alice wanted to help the lion but he asked to leave all matters to him because he wanted to show that, like a real man, he was able to deal with everything himself. It was clear that Mark was angry, so Alice did her best to calm him down. But Mark wasn't angry. He just didn't want his female to get hurt since he cared about her very much. The heroine liked this kind of care. The male charmed her more and more. Coming closer, the girl continued to behave sincerely and tenderly with the male but she was still very concerned about how the residents looked at their new comrades. It seemed to her that the inhabitants of the Moonstone were cruel to the overpopulation. Mark was surprised that Alice reasoned so wisely and did not arrange this fight by chance. The heroine understood that she could not challenge someone without guarantees, 
and doing the impossible is always interesting. Mark could not take his eyes off such a confident and incredibly strong-willed girl. Alice also believed that Mark would be able to protect her if anything happened, because she knew that he was on her side. Is this female really giving in to the lion on purpose? She behaves so strangely, coldly, but at the same time tenderly and warmly. The heroine was glad that she was able to cheer up the lion and calm him down. Mark asked why he was making the stems in the form of thorns, because he had never seen anything like this before. But Alice didn't want to tell what they were for, so she said that tomorrow Mark would find out everything. At this time, Zeke was carrying logs, as gloom forced him as punishment. Night fell. Everyone went to bed. Silence. Only the sound of crickets broke this silence. At this moment, Ethan was watching something interesting that caused his nose to bleed. No matter how well Ethan hid, Luke found him. He was very interested in what the young man was watching. Luke came to visit Alice, after all the preparations for the battle, which will take place tomorrow. Ethan stopped Luke because he was watching them, and knew that now it was impossible. The couple was resting. Luke knew. He saw everything and understood what an interesting game the couple was playing now. Ethan didn't understand why Luke was so calm, because now was such an interesting moment. The guys watched the whole picture and were embarrassed. They were sincerely interested in what would happen next. Alice was on her knees, looking at Mark and wondering if he had finished. But Mark was not going to rush. He wanted to slowly enjoy this wonderful moment. The heroine couldn't help but feel embarrassed. Her whole face turned red. She wanted all this to end as soon as possible. The girl could not contain her emotions. She squeezed the sheet with her hands and tried not to be loud. At this time, Mark had almost removed the beetle from the girl's hair, but he was in no hurry and enjoyed this moment to the maximum. The insects in this world were so scary that Alice did not understand how the locals lived with them. Mark explained that insects are more afraid of them because beast people are more dangerous and stronger. The lion was looking at the girl and suddenly noticed something on the female's body, so he asked her not to move. Unexpectedly, the lion pulled the girl to him and hugged her, so tenderly and so affectionately, that at that moment the heroine began to think that Mark was planning something intimate. She didn't know what to do in this situation, so she clenched and began to get nervous. The guy in front of her was so handsome that it was difficult to resist, but Alice collected and put her thoughts in order. Mark noticed how the girl blushed. He thought she was sick, so he wanted to give her some medicine. Alice was very surprised, because she knew that all this was caused by embarrassment. But the lion nevertheless laid her on her stomach and began to treat her with local herbs. The male slowly rubbed the medicine, moving the plant along the female's back. This gave him pleasure. Alice didn't want this to last long, so she quickly wrapped herself in a blanket and went to bed. The heroine didn't want everything to develop so quickly. She condemned herself for having feelings for a man she still didn't know. They were already united by so many tender and warm memories. It seemed that they were already a full-fledged couple. The day of the fight came. Everything was in place. Zeke did not want this fight, so he suggested that Alice admit defeat before the start of the fight. The girl was not going to give up so easily and was ready to start right now. Those watching the fight were worried. The fighters were gone for a long time, and the residents were already starting to get nervous. Angela was looking forward to this fight, because she really wanted the female she hated to leave the settlement. Finally, someone has emerged from the forest, which means the winner has already been determined. Alice easily overcame all the obstacles and proudly walked towards her fellow tribesmen. A fragile and gentle girl won this battle, which no one could have expected. Everyone around was shocked. They were wondering how the fragile female managed to do this. But all this worried Angela more, because Zeke was the strongest warrior and an experienced hunter. Alice was not at all bothered by such a rude attitude towards herself. She just pointed to the place and said that the female could see for herself. Everyone immediately rushed to the place pointed to by the heroine. The residents wanted to know what trick Alice had used. The heroine was pleased. Her experience in the world of beast people was finally useful. The only thing that surprised Alice was that Mark was not visible, because he was always watching her. After the residents found out how the female was able to win, they immediately ran to her. This frightened the heroine. Do the residents really not want to recognize her victory? Sitting on their knees, the men recognized the fragile female and began to call her a doctor. 
they asked to teach them. Alice was very surprised. She could not even think that her victory would change the resident's attitude towards her so much. Previously, Zeke tried to force the girl to admit defeat before the fight began, but the female was adamant. Zeke couldn't make a decision on his own and choose a side. He wanted to do everything for Angela's sake, but he couldn't disobey the head of the settlement. While the young man was reasoning, Alice turned around and, since the fight would not take place, decided to go forward. Zeke couldn't let the girl go so easily, so he began to catch up with her in order to defeat her. At that very moment, he fell into Alice's trap, which was right under his foot. The guy could not do anything, but Alice stood joyful, because it was she who prepared such a gift. Zeke was indignant. He could not allow such a fragile girl to defeat him. Therefore, he easily broke the rope and got out of the trap, because he was an experienced warrior. Alice rejoiced like a child at this demonstration of the power of the beastmen. Having risen to his feet, Zeke was already talking about his victory because he had no idea what awaited him. Arrows suddenly flew over the guy's head. This puzzled him because before that he had never seen anything like this. Zeke couldn't believe his eyes. Such speed was beyond his control. He believed that these were some new technologies. With a bald spot on his head, he wondered how many of these things the girl had made. Alice began to count on her fingers, but quickly stopped, because she had prepared a lot of arrows. Zeke was scared. If he had known that the girl would use such techniques, he would not have agreed to the fight. The guy could no longer be stopped, so he followed the girl because her path was safe. But this myth quickly dissipated, and Zeke again fell into the trap of a fragile female. Looking down at the guy, the girl said that all the traps were adjusted to her weight, so he would not be able to follow her safely. The pit was smeared with honey, so the guy could not move freely. Meanwhile, Alice covered the hole with prepared camouflage and went for help. Alice is a cunning and smart girl. Every trap was thought out to the smallest detail. Everyone considered Alice a wise female. They asked her to tell them more about all sorts of traps. But the girl did not consider herself wise, because she was only applying the knowledge of people in another world. The heroine came to the lake because she knew that Mark usually rests near it. Alice wanted to meet the lion as soon as possible because she wanted his praise. It was very beautiful near the lake. Butterflies circled around her, and their pollen fell right onto the girl's hair. One of the butterflies landed right on Mark's head. She took him for a beautiful flower. While following the butterfly, Alice was able to find Mark, who at that moment was sleeping under the shade of the tree crown. A beautiful blonde man looked so defenseless at that moment, like a child. Mark was unimaginably beautiful, so Alice could not resist and approached him. Having examined him, she did not want to disturb the guy, so she decided to step aside. But Mark did not sleep, and as soon as he noticed that the girl wanted to leave him, he took her hand. The lion pulled the girl towards him. They looked at each other and admired. Mark asked why the little female was looking for him, since this was the first time. Alice wanted to tell her that she defeated Zeke in a duel. She wanted to share this joy. But Mark saw everything. He secretly watched the progress of the battle, so he knew everything. The heroine could not believe that all this time the lion was secretly watching her and was always nearby. Mark did not look happy. Had the girl really disgraced the Moonstone settlement with her actions? Alice was grateful, because the lion had been helping her all this time, and the technology would now be used for the benefit of the settlement. Mark was very worried about all this. He had seen such technologies only at the gates of heaven, so he was wondering where Alice came from. Alice did not know where the gates of heaven were, and did not know how to answer the lion's questions. The girl shook her head from side to side, denying everything. She could not say that she came from another world. Mark thought the girl's behavior was strange, so he assumed that she was from another world. Alice didn't want to admit it and tell everything, so she changed the subject. The heroine began to say that she wanted to leave, but the lion was not going to let her go. Alice sincerely wanted to leave, because she had been in a foreign world for so long. From such words, the lion became upset. His face became gloomier and gloomier. Memories from the past came flooding back, the lion couldn't just turn a blind eye to such words. Seeing Mark in this state, the girl understood that now was not the best time to talk. But the lion was about to let her go. Throwing her to the ground, he pressed the girl to the ground. 
Alice looked the lion straight in the eye and reminded him that there were three rules in their relationship. Mark was so angry that he could not restrain himself and acted instinctively. The guy grabbed the girl's hand and pressed her to him, not allowing her unnecessary movements. And so, when she was already sitting on him, he realized that he could not hurt the female. At this time, Ethan was sitting on a stone and guarding the settlement, waiting for his brother to return. The lion returned to the settlement dissatisfied and angry, along with the girl. Alice defeated Mark again, but not without cunning, because she could not do it any other way. Shortly before this, they were sitting in a flower meadow. Mark continued to tell the girl that she was his. Such a sudden change in behavior frightened Alice. She did not understand what was happening to the lion. The lion became even closer to the girl and is already inhaling the aroma of her hair. He enjoyed this moment. Alice was embarrassed. The man's impudent actions made her body tremble. Then it dawned on the girl. She remembered the conversation with Ethan about females and understood how she could calm the lion. The guy said that females for the first time cannot control their feelings. Therefore, they are not able to take on the appearance of an animal. Alice wanted to use this trick and hoped to push Mark away in this way. Having started to act out such a scene, the girl quickly got used to the role and completely corresponded to it. Mark didn't understand what was happening and it worried him greatly. Alice continued to play the role and already asked Mark to give her a chance to take everything into her own hands. The girl took the grass in her hand and began to tickle the guy, thereby distracting him from the caresses. The heroine was incredibly interested in how long the lion could hold out. Mark was already weakened and wanted to give in to his instincts because this was his weakness. This is how the heroine was able to calm the impudent lion and subjugate him with the help of a blade of grass. The girl could not stop so easily and continued to play with him. The big lion could not restrain himself and played with a blade of grass like a little one. At this point, the couple was happy and playfully continued on their way to the settlement. Approaching the village, Ethan was already meeting them, because all this time he had been waiting for the couple to return. Leopard was surprised to see Mark in the guise of a lion, so he was interested in the reason for the transformation. But Alice reassured Ethan and said that there was no reason to worry. The upset lion went to his home with the girl, as he was not in a good mood. Arriving home, the girl calmed the lion and offered to eat together to distract himself. But the lion was so angry that he refused to even eat with the girl and continued to lie. Alice felt guilty, but Mark was also wrong. He should not have forced the girl to mate. The heroine quickly left the tent, feeling guilty. She wanted to somehow make amends for her guilt. And at that time, the lion noticed a blade of grass on the floor, which had so fascinated him earlier. He crushed it with his paws and took out all his anger on a defenseless blade of grass, like a child. Alice ran to the females who were cooking at that time. The heroine wanted to do something nice for her male, so she decided to take more meat. The females did not want to share the meat with Alice, so they gave her the smallest piece. This cruel treatment of the girls upset the heroine. She did not understand the anger of other females. Angela had great influence in the settlement, so everyone listened to her. Alice only got the entrails, but she was incredibly happy with them because she knew many ways to cook them. Having received such goodies, the girl immediately began to cook. She knew how to cook something tasty from this. Everyone in the settlement was wondering how the girl could cook this, because the smell was amazing. The first one, Alice gave it to Ethan to try. She asked not to crowd, because there were enough goodies for everyone. Having tasted the first piece, the leopard could not stop. It was so tasty that he was drooling. Angela was outraged by this behavior of the residents. She did not understand why everyone went to Alice again. And even her supporters left to try the heroine's cooking. They were attracted by the smell of new food. The girls surrounded Alice. They asked to teach them how to cook and no longer treated the heroine so coldly. Angela could not calm down. She regarded such actions as betrayal. Even Zeke, who had previously fought with Alice, was already helping her and carrying logs for the fire. Seeing all this, Angela was broken. The last person she believed in betrayed her. Zeke wanted Angela to taste the dish, so he brought it to her. But Angela was offended by the whole world, so she very rudely refused the male's offer. The guy didn't understand why the girl was so angry and refused his proposal. But suddenly, everyone who tried Alice's food felt sick and vomited. The girl provided first aid and helped alleviate the suffering of the residents. 
Mark had already arrived and did not understand what was happening around him or why the residents felt so bad. Alice was surprised. Mark always came on time and helped his colleagues. Angela couldn't miss the opportunity and immediately began blaming Alice for what happened. Mark was wise and reasonable, so he was not going to listen to empty accusations. Lev asked Alice what was going on here because she was not just a resident of the settlement, but also a doctor. Based on all external signs, the girl realized that it was food poisoning. Angela began to point out Alice's guilt and continued to blame her for what happened. Ethan came to the heroine's defense and convinced everyone that he was fine. Mark continued to find out the reason for the departure. It was important for him to find out everything. The priest of the settlement also came to Alice's defense because he believed that the doctor could not make a mistake. Alice did not deny that everyone who tried her food now feels bad. Angela was so glad that the girl finally admitted her guilt that the smile never left her face. Since Angela was right, she decided to apply the laws of the settlement and expel Alice. But Mark did not want to make hasty conclusions and wanted to hear the opinion of his female. The heroine really appreciated this attitude towards herself, but did not know how to explain the situation. Mark believed Alice. He understood that the girl could not harm the inhabitants of the settlement. While everyone was feeling bad, Ethan continued to gorge himself on cooked meat. Leopard wanted to convince everyone that he was fine, even though he ate Alice's food. Angela was angry. She wanted to expel the girl she hated so much. Alice didn't know what to do in such a situation. Her head ached from helplessness. The heroine decided to act, so she began asking residents. Angela did not understand what all these questions were for. They would not help the victims in any way. But this was really important to the heroine, so she continued to ask questions. Mark also took part in this and asked everyone to answer completely honestly. The victims did not remain silent and admitted that they had eaten fish today. Then, Ethan realized that it was those who ate the fish that got sick. The guy was smart enough to understand this. Angela didn't understand why fish was a problem, since they eat it every day. But Alice immediately understood everything, since the residents ate chicken liver and fish. It is not surprising that they felt ill. Mark did not understand how this was connected and what was the reason for this reaction of the body. From her little investigation, Alice realized that the fish that the residents ate caused such a reaction. When the girls still lived in the settlement of eagles, they always threw out blue fish since many received the shipment. Ethan did not understand the connection because the inhabitants of the Moonstone settlement always ate this fish. Alice explained that if you just eat fish, everything will be fine. But if you eat something else, you can go. Perhaps this fish is similar to herring, and if mixed with liver, you can get intoxicated. Ethan understood and was glad that he was okay, continuing to eat the food Alice had prepared. Angela was furious. She didn't understand why every time this female came out of any situation unscathed. Alice still felt guilty, so she apologized to everyone. Mark stopped her because he believed that the girl was not guilty of anything. The heroine still felt guilty. She needed to better study what the residents ate. The lion reassured his female and stroked her head because there was no guilt on her. Everyone understood this and thanked the doctor for the new knowledge. Now they know which products should not be mixed. Although no one blamed Alice, she learned a lesson from the situation and became wiser. Even though Angela was angry, she still tried Alice's food. Already in his tent, Mark happily ate the cooked meat. The only thing that upset him was that Alice didn't bother to prepare a special portion for him. The heroine made excuses. She specially left the best part for Mark, but did not have time to prepare it due to the incident. Mark was glad to hear these words. Now he can consider himself special to the female. Approaching the female, he whispered in her ear that he wanted to try again. Alice was confused by all this. She did not understand why the male had not yet given up. Then the heroine decided to tell her that she could not take the form of an animal. But this time, Mark decided that he would not disappoint his female because he wanted her to be happy with him. Alice couldn't listen to all this, so she immediately covered the guy's mouth with a band-aid. All embarrassed, the girl left the male's house and told him to get ready. Mark looked at Red Alice and did not look away. He could not help but look at the beautiful female. But the grin on his face spoke of how pleased the male was with his actions. At this time, Angela cried in front of the elder, her father. She was sad that even her father did not support her. 
The priest explained that they could not condemn the choice of the head of the settlement because they were just ordinary residents. But Angela continued to talk about her beauty and convinced the old man that Mark should choose her. The priest understood that beauty is not the main thing in a person. He understands why the head chose Alice. Alice just came at that moment for advice from the priest of the settlement. She wanted to learn more about other worlds. Angela immediately attacked the heroine, starting to say that she was not welcome here. The old man could not tolerate such an attitude towards his guest and kicked Angela out. Angela was upset that even her own father did not support her. The elder said that the young female lacks discipline, which is why she behaves this way. The priest believed that this whole situation would only benefit his daughter. At that moment, the heroine's face changed. She began to talk about other worlds. At this time, Mark controlled the residents and gave out decrees. Everything had to be resolved quickly. Alice closely watched the male, hiding behind a tree. She thought that Mark would not notice her. Mark almost immediately noticed that his female was watching him because he always felt her presence. All this time, the heroine condemned herself. She considered herself a coward because she was afraid to respond to the feelings of the male. Earlier, having told the elder about other worlds, the priest explained that this was secret knowledge. And the priest also explained that only leaders have the right to know about other worlds. Alice didn't know how to tell Mark that she wanted to return home because the male made it clear that he would not let the female go. The memories embarrassed the girl. She could not believe that she would have to live in this world all her life. While Alice was in her thoughts, Mark approached her because he could not leave his female without attention. The male always looked at the girl with warmth and care. He sincerely loved her. Leo pulled the girl to him and hugged her, continuing to look into her eyes. Mark was sincerely glad that his female missed him. He felt this for the first time. Alice denied everything. She did not want to admit that she missed the male because she did not want to reciprocate his feelings. The lion did not understand why his female was so shy. He wanted to tell the whole world about his feelings. Taking the girl by the hand, the young leader wanted to show Alice the wall that they were building with the entire settlement. It was just an unimaginably huge wall, the top of which Alice could see. Standing right in front of Mark, the heroine asked the male about the celestial beast. Mark realized that they were hiding a lot from the girl, so he decided to tell her. Many years ago, white giants lived on this continent and had incredible strength. These monsters hunted beastmen and killed them with extreme cruelty. Therefore, the beast people united and decided to leave the dangerous continent. Every winter, the Moonstone Settlement as large females defends itself. Some beasts make their way through the mountains to feast on the beastmen. Alice could not even imagine that such monsters could exist in this world. Mark reassured his female because he was responsible with his life for her safety. The heroine was worried. She was worried that such a wall was not enough for safety. Mark never thought that Alice could start to worry so much. Therefore, she decided to come up with new ways of defense to make the wall stronger. And outside, you need to dig trenches full of thorns for greater safety. The girl also suggested installing mechanisms that could launch stones. The heroine thought about everything and came up with new ways of protection so that predators could not harm the settlement. Mark didn't understand where the girls got so many ideas. He was interested in how such a female appeared in such a world. It seemed that the male was not listening to the heroine at all, so she tried to attract his attention in every possible way. Lev listened carefully to Alice, so he decided that tomorrow all her ideas would be realized in life. They spent the whole day together, and the evening was simply wonderful and romantic. All this time, the male looked only at the girl. At that moment, he felt happier. From the very beginning, Mark treated Alice as a gift from above, as a gift from fate. And the more he talked to the girl, the more he was attracted to her. The very thought that one day she would leave Mark filled him with horror. Mark never thought that one day he would go so crazy over a woman. But this feeling was wonderful. He could not resist it, so he did not know how best to act. At this wonderful moment, Mark decided to confess to the girl because this moment was right. Alice did not expect that the male would decide to confess at such a moment. She was not ready for confession. The heroine knew about the male's feelings, but this was the first time he spoke about them directly. Mark was interested in whether his feelings were mutual, so he asked the girl a question. Alice didn't know what to say to the guy at that moment. 
because she still believed that one day she would return to her world. Turning the girl towards him, the lion looked her straight in the eyes. He could not stop admiring her. The male wanted to kiss the female, but he respected her, so this time he asked permission. And at the moment when their lips almost touched, and they could already feel each other's breath. The girl abruptly pushed him away, and everything ended on such a beautiful note. Alice wanted to know why Mark loves her. It was important for her, because feelings don't just arise. Mark did not expect such a question. He did not know how to answer it, so he was silent. The heroine thought that they didn't know each other well, and didn't know about each other at all. But for Mark, choosing a partner was an unchanging tradition. There were no other reasons for it. Alice did not understand such traditions. She believed that everything should be out of love. Leo misunderstood the girl, from which he blossomed and began to think that Alice still loved him. Alice didn't understand what Mark was talking about and what he meant, because she was talking about something completely different. The heroine reasoned that, according to Mark's logic, she could also date Ethanomili Luke. Mark was dissatisfied with such words and pressed the girl to a tree so that she could not go anywhere. Alice wasn't ready for this. Couldn't Mark differentiate between love and obsession? Leo asked what kind of love the girl was talking about. He wanted to know what the girl meant. In the world of beast people, everything was arranged differently. If a male liked a female, he had to prove to her that he was strong and capable of feeding his family, and also to protect the female from other males. This is the instinct of every male. Mark had always treated Angela as a little sister, and nothing more. He had no intention of choosing her as his partner. The priest always reminded the leader that he needed to choose a female to mate with. Before meeting Alice, the lion thought that he would be alone all his life because he was not worthy. But having met such a female, the lion's world was turned upside down, so abruptly that at first he was not ready. Mark couldn't let go of such a female. He wanted her to be with him and nothing more. All this amazed the girl. She could not even think that Mark loved her so much. Alice couldn't believe that Mark's feelings were so pure and sincere. But Alice could not accept the male's feelings, since she wanted to return home. The heroine did not want to give false hope for happiness, but she also could not push her away. Mark sounded convincing. He wanted to give his female the best so that she could live the most beautiful life of all. It got dark and evening had already come. The couple enjoyed this wonderful moment. For the sake of the female, the lion wanted to always remain the strongest male because he loved her. Since childhood, no one had said such a thing to Alice, but she understood that because of the future, she could not accept the feelings of a male. And if she knew about the consequences, she would not reciprocate. The heroine would like to be bolder, but at that moment she could not. She did not know what was best for her to do. Luke interrupted their romantic solitude. He was looking for Alice. Something happened in the settlement. Mark was not happy about the named guest and tried to hide with the girl in the leaves of a tree. But Luke had already noticed the couple, so he immediately flew up to them and worriedly began calling them back to the settlement. An incomprehensible showdown began in the Moonstone settlement, which required the intervention of the leader. Mark intervened and ordered the release of the female for whom the males were fighting. Noticing his brother, Ethan immediately ran to Mark. He had something to tell the elder. The leader was not yet aware of the matter, so the first thing he decided to do was find out what had happened. The priest told the situation. All winter food supplies were secretly sent to the snake settlement. The lion did not understand why the female did this, because for such an act she was threatened with expulsion. One of the males intervened. He wanted to protect his female from accusations. Kneeling before the leader, he begged not to punish the female, and also promised to find a way to return the stolen meat. The inhabitants of the Moonstone could not stand by. They condemned the girl and considered her a traitor. Alice reasoned and realized that the girl in front of her betrayed the village because she fell in love. In front of the leader, the girl bowed her head. She begged for forgiveness, because she did not consider herself guilty. Mark could not close his eyes to this and understood that he must be punished for his offense. The lion made his verdict, thereby expelling the female from the Moonstone settlement. Then the girl decided to turn to Alice for help because she understood that the heroine could influence the leader's decision. Grabbing the heroine by the leg, the female began to beg for forgiveness and hope for mercy. 
Alice could not challenge the leader's decision and understood this perfectly well. So she stood silently. Mark became more and more angry. He ordered to let Alice go and not touch her anymore. Bowing her head, the girl released Alice. She had no complaints about the leader's decision, but she didn't understand why the head didn't even ask why she did this. Rising from her knees, the girl began to talk about love and the traditions of the Moonstone settlement. The girl believed that the traditions of settling the Moonstone were outdated because only they chose a partner once and for life. Turning to Alice, the girl was looking for hope. She believed that another female could understand her, but the heroine didn't even know that it was impossible to separate in the Moonstone settlement. Mark thought differently. No one forced a girl to get closer to a male. It was her choice. Leo did not want to listen to the trader's excuses and also did not want to see her in the settlement. The leader asked his brother Ethan to help the girl pack her things to hit the road. He also wanted Ethan to make sure that the trader would leave the settlement. The priest told the leader the bad news. The remaining meat was barely enough to feed the villagers. Everyone understood that even if they started hunting now, they would not have enough for the winter. Therefore, the leader decided to take the stolen meat from the thieves because they had no other way to survive the winter. Having distributed all the males into groups, the head went to the settlement of the Dark Viper. The trader felt guilty and was already leaving the settlement. Alice stopped her because she wanted to hand over some of her supplies because she could not send the girl on a long journey without food. But the girl thanked her for her concern and refused help as she felt guilty. The heroine made sure that the female was accepted in another settlement. The girl wondered whether Alice really wanted to marry the leader. This question puzzled the heroine. She did not know how to answer it, so she continued to stand in silence. At this time, Mark and a group of males were heading to the settlement of the Dark Viper. He knew that he could handle everything and would definitely return home, because a female was waiting for him. Earlier, Alice called Mark to demonstrate the new mechanism. The crossbow was not only light, but also easy to use, which was very convenient. And even at the moment of training, Mark did not miss the chance to embarrass the girl. All Red Alice could not even move. She simply melted in the arms of the male. Hugging his female goodbye, he told her a lot of warm words, because he wanted the girl to understand how much he loves and appreciates her. Alice promised that she would wait for her male to return. This was important for the male. Standing on the wall, Alice and Ethan watched the males go on their long journey. Ethan noticed how worried Alice was about Mark, but didn't understand why she didn't say goodbye to him personally. Alice did not like goodbyes and preferred to avoid difficult moments. Standing on the wall, the heroine noticed Angela, who was walking behind the wall. It was dangerous there, so the heroes were worried about the girl. The heroine did not understand what the female was doing because it was very dangerous outside. At this time, Angela could not decide whether to go right or left. She wanted to secretly leave the settlement. Suddenly, Angela heard someone's voice and turned around, wondering who the voice belonged to. The steely flew right near her throat, which scared the young female. Alice stood with a crossbow right in front of Angela and tried to convince her to return to the village. The heroine looked at the female with a terrifying gaze and continued to hold the crossbow right in front of her face. But the angry Angela pushed Alice away and began screaming throughout the neighborhood. Having thrown the heroine to the ground, Angela sat on top and continued to sort things out. Alice remained calm and pointed out that she was behind the female. Angela was a stubborn girl and did not want to listen to the heroine, and the female also hated Alice. But then I realized that I had made a mistake, because snakes began to surround them. The girls immediately rose from the ground and rushed back to the settlement, because it was safe there. Suddenly, Angela tripped over a stone and fell. The girl was clumsy, so it was not surprising. Sitting on the ground, she could not move, because her legs gave out from fear. Alice stood up to protect the female. Taking the crossbow in her hands, she began to shoot the snakes. At this moment, eagles appeared in the sky and had already come to the aid of their fellow tribesmen. The heroine was sincerely glad that the eagles came to their rescue so soon. The eagles quickly dealt with the dangerous snakes and saved the girls from inevitable death. The eagles had not had such a meal for a long time, so Alice was sincerely happy. Angela was surprised because the pythons appeared very early this year. Suddenly, the dead python came to life and frightened the young female. She did not expect a sudden attack. 
Alice deliberately scared the girl with a dead python because she wanted to show that the female was not able to live without the protection of the tribe. Angela understood this and was angry at the heroine's act. She did not want to admit that she was unable to live without a tribe. Sitting on the ground and bursting into tears, the girl did not understand why Alice humiliated her all the time. The heroine did not want to bring the female to such a state. She could not even think that Angela would start crying. Suddenly, Luke approached Alice and said that the behavior of the pythons was very strange, since at that time they were supposed to be in their den and waiting for mating. Angela confirmed Luke's words, because mating season begins for pythons at this time, and only after that they begin to move west. At this moment, the heroes realized that something truly dangerous forced the pythons to begin moving west at such a time. Only the most dangerous predators, which brought horror and fear to the continent, could force the pythons to leave their lair. At this time, Mark and a group of males were already heading to the settlement of the Dark Snake to return the decorated meat. The lion wanted to quickly sort out this matter and return home to his female. Everyone was surprised by the leader's haste. They had never seen him like this, but they understood. Everyone knew that Mark had a bad relationship with his father, since he forbade him to communicate with his mother. But one day, the little lion secretly met with his mother, for which he was severely punished. The leader had no love, no mother, no father's care in his childhood, and it was truly terrible. When all the children were playing, little Mark studied under the close supervision of his father. When all the children were resting, Mark was engaged in difficult and dangerous training. And the worst thing was that one day his father simply up and left with his mother, leaving all the worries to the child. Remembering all this, Zick felt sincerely sorry for the leader, who never knew parental love. Everyone wanted the leader to find a female as soon as possible, but no one attracted him. Everyone in the settlement thought that he would be lonely until old age and would not be able to find anyone for himself. But fortunately, a girl appeared who made the leader feel human. Although now, the leader sometimes behaves very stupidly, paying attention to every little thing. But even so, Zeke was sincerely happy for the leader, who had been alone for so long. Suddenly, the leader left the group of males. Something happened. Mark decided to look into it. The tribesmen did not understand why the leader decided to stop abruptly and showed interest in this. On the ground, Mark discovered familiar tracks. He realized that they belonged to dangerous predators. Zeke also realized that these footprints belonged to the celestial beasts who so love to hunt beastmen. The group of males could not continue their journey. They had to return back to the settlement. Mark did not understand how the heavenly beasts could be here. Perhaps these tracks were already here because on their way they did not meet a single beast. Then a terrifying thought came to Mark's head. Was the predator's goal really a settlement? At this time, Alice, who was outside the walls of the settlement, was already attacked by a dangerous predator. The heavenly beast pressed her to the ground, and its mouth was already near her head. The girl was in danger. The heroine did not want this day to be her last. Something had to be done to save herself. Suddenly, stones began to fall from the sky onto the celestial beast. They distracted him from his prey. Luke tried to somehow help the girl and save her from inevitable death. A group of eagles continued to try to save the girl and dropped huge stones on the beast. Alice had hope of salvation and was already thinking about an escape plan. While still under the paws of the beast, she could not move, but she still believed that she could find a way to escape. These animals were not only strong, but also fast. One of them began to climb a tree. Alice quickly realized that the target of the second beast was Luke, so she asked him to fly away from the tree. Suddenly, the beast jumped on the eagle, wanting to grab it with its huge paws. Alice couldn't believe her eyes. Her friend was in such a dangerous situation. But Luke was not helpless, so as soon as he noticed the beast, he dropped a stone on its head. The beast, stunned by the blow, began to rapidly fall down, and Luke won. One of the predator's fellow tribesmen was not pleased with such mediocrity of his relative. Alice still continued to lie under the paws of the predator, pondering an escape plan. Taking a wooden stake in her hands, she wanted to inflict at least some damage on the beast. But even so, she was unable to pierce the skin of a dangerous predator. The stake simply broke on him. The beast looked at her, but the heroine only asked for forgiveness, saying that her hand had slipped. 
The beast flew into a rage. He wanted to kill the girl and eat her. Alice was seized with horror. Would her life really end now? Alice was not going to die so easily and resisted to the last. Having caused pain to the predator, the girl was still able to get out of his clutches and crawl to the side. Having risen to her feet, the heroine began to run to Luke and ask him to lift her up. Luke was able to save Alice and lift her so that the beast could not reach her with its fangs. The girls were saved, and now they could safely return to the Moonstone settlement. Angela did not want to linger and wanted to return to the settlement as soon as possible, but Alice understood that she could not return, since there were still people outside. And if they fly right now, they will lead the heavenly beasts straight to the Moonstone settlement. Luke did not know what to do in such a situation and where to fly so as not to lead predators to the settlement. They continued to hover and lead predators around for a long time. Suddenly, Alice noticed that in the distance, there was an area suitable for catching predators. The swamp was an ideal place to catch the celestial beasts and immobilize them. Therefore, they immediately decided to fly to the swamp to catch dangerous predators. It seemed that their plan was ideal, since the predators did not look at all where they were running. At this time, the snakes communicated and made an insidious plan. They wanted to attack the leader of the Moonstone. Taking on human form, they were already rejoicing at their victory and how they would celebrate it. The snakes believed that the leader of the lions had been sitting on his throne for too long, and it was time to remove him. During his reasoning, the man heard someone's voice and raised his head up. Unexpectedly for him, someone's foot stepped on his head, which made the snake lose its balance. Alice was so carried away by luring predators that she completely did not notice how she stepped on someone's head. Having plunged the predators and the insidious snake into the swampy area, the heroine won. The happy feeling of a hard surface under her feet made the girl happy. Alice continued to trample on the snake's head and did not notice him at all. The heroine kept thinking that this was the surface of the swamp. She liked the feeling so much that she could not stop. The snake became furious because of this. He wanted the girl to immediately remove her feet from his head. Alice didn't understand why there were sounds coming from under her feet. Only when Luke picked her up did she notice what she was standing on. The snake was chest deep in the swamp and could not utter another word. His pride was hurt. 